We in the building, <laughs> man. Him, he in the building. CT in the building. <laughs> CT on the mic. On the mic. In the building. All right, you're wilding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. So, oh, uh, man. Yo, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just say one thing. I just got one thing to get off my chest, and then you got it. You know what I'm saying? Let loose. Fuck Oprah. <laughs> I'm going to say this again. This is the third video that I'm making on this topic because <laughs> this is the third video I'm making on this topic. I didn't know that Oprah did a whole ass interview. I know that she said something, but I didn't know she did a whole ass interview. I'm going to say this. For the third time, I said it in the first two videos. The whole interview don't fucking matter. It don't fucking matter what the fucking interview was about. You shouldn't have asked that shit. You shouldn't have asked that shit. You, you asking them tasteless ass questions? It negates the whole interview. And again, we don't watch your shit. You know who Gail King is? Did you know who she was before this? Only when it came to the R. Kelly thing, but before that, no. Mm -hmm. We don't fuck with you. And I'm not going to bring up the Nate, um, the, uh, Nate Turner situation, but I do want to let y'all know, if y'all don't watch my podcast, it's dropping on Monday. The visual is dropping on Monday. I did confirm that she was the person that interviewed Nate Turner and did that hoe-ass shit. But back to what I was saying. Oprah. And I'm sorry if I'm yelling, but I'm kind of mad. Like I'm, I really am mad. Oprah, what the fuck was you was at? What the fuck was you at when that whole debacle happened with the never, never? Blah, blah, blah. <sighs> what the fuck was you at when that whole leaving Neverland debacle happened? When them niggas did that nasty ass movie and they turned around talking about, oh, uh, some of that shit may not have been the way we said it was. You wasn't on E.T. You wasn't on E at night on that time. You didn't pop out. You know, to, to speak on that. But now, that niggas is being nasty. And people are reacting to it. It is the internet. So yeah, you're going to get death threats. You, you know what I'm saying? This is arguably the second or third best player ever to play basketball. That just died last week. It still hasn't been a week, bro. It still hasn't been a week. Um, Shout out to Ari Lennox, man. Like, real shit. Shout out to Ari Lennox, bro. Um, yo, just... <laughs> I fuck with you, though. Cause she, I, I fuck with the cosigns. I fuck with the cosigns. I'm about to give the flow to her. Because I, I really ain't got much else to say. I done did two videos on this. Um... What I want to ask you is, how do you feel about the way that Snoop Dogg handled this situation, and how do you feel about the way he spoke to her? I mean, I think he did good. The only thing that he probably shouldn't have done was, you know, these vulgar, vulgar words towards her, mm -hmm. but... I mean, he's right. <laughs> he probably shouldn't have called her a dog face bitch. <laughs> that was kind of funny, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's how mad she got him. Like, that's how mad people are yeah. about the situation. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? She shouldn't have said anything like that. And they weren't even on any type of subject like that. She just come out of nowhere and just start asking about allegations and all this other or you know the chart whatever but i'm mm -hmm. just like i don't know i think he handled it well besides now, that part so. see i know you ain't see the um i know you didn't see the ari lennox apology just to let y'all know if y'all didn't see the ari lennox Wait, she apology. apologize yeah remember i told you she wrote a whole dissertation bro she stop apologizing man there's nothing to apologize about like, the shit shouldn't have been said to begin with. <laughs> like, shouldn't have been said. That's it. 
I wouldn't apologize for anything that I say because that's how you feel. That's how you feel. Mm -hmm. What are you apologizing for? Fuck that. Now, I'm going to throw a wrench in though. I'm going to throw a wrench in and I want to see what you're going to say on camera. Hmm. Ari Lennox is a part of the music industry. Yeah. And basically, she wrote that whole dissertation like, bro, if y'all don't know, she couldn't even write the whole apology in a Twitter post. She put a link to a Tumblr post. Like, yeah. it was long as fuck. Oh, and y as y'all see, I think I said this in an earlier video, I didn't read that shit. I didn't read all of that shit. Um, but, she obviously apologized. She was inclined to apologize because in the, in the, what I did read in the apology was that, uh, I feel the same way that I feel. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I still, it was Yeah. Just, so how do you feel about her? She probably was inclined to apologize by maybe her manager, her publicist, someone in the music industry because you know how powerful Oprah is. And Gail King is very powerful as well. If you know what I'm saying, she's uh, Anna. She's I don't know what the word to say is, but she's she work at CBS. She on TV every day. Yeah. So what do you think caused Ari Lennox to apologize? I don't think that. She, I don't think she was doing it for herself. I think she was told to do it. Mm -hmm. Just like. Who else apologized? Her, freaking Gail King. Like I feel like oh, yeah, I don't speak feel on like that. that ahead, I don't feel that. like that. That was sincere at all. Like if you actually watch the video, it's almost like she doesn't care. It seems like she doesn't even care about what she said. And like even during the interview, when she was speaking about those things about Kobe, she wasn't even looking. What's her name? Lisa. Lisa. Leslie. She wasn't even looking Lisa in the face. Like, she would look away and then look at her for her, like, reaction to what she just asked. It was just funny. It was weird to me. I pay attention to everything, and I was just like, that's just weird. Like, I don't agree with that. Um, but back to Ari, like, I don't feel like she did that. I don't think she got on her phone and wrote that herself. I think that someone told her to write an apology. Because maybe she would have got backlash for the things that she was saying. But. You're fucking kidding me, man. <laughs> These cats are crazy. Psycho. So. <laughs> but. Yeah, I just. I feel like she was told to write those things. Um, just like with Gail. Yeah, oh, that Gail shit, that shit was definitely transcribed. Just because, hey, Gail, just to let you know, you might have degrees and shit, you know what I'm saying? We may not have degrees. We may not make the salary that you make. Motherfucker, we know that you know how to memorize shit, bro. I know that you made it a point to make it seem like that you wasn't reading that shit and that shit was coming from the heart. You wrote that shit down, or somebody wrote that from CBS wrote that shit down. Niggas was not born yesterday. We may not have been born when you was born, <laughs> but we. And I'm not. I'm not shaming old people, but it's just ridiculous that a person of this age is doing that, and a person that knew this individual. This woman, Lisa Leslie, lets you into her house. The woman's sitting on the couch in a <laughs> slip of socks. Literally. Comfortable. She done let you Chilling. in the crib. She comfortable. Chilling. And you done tried her shit like that? And shots out to Lisa Leslie, because Le you seen the way she looked at her when she was asking them questions? Yeah, like... Bitch! She gave her that look like, did you really just ask me that? I, I strive to be that professional under pressure. Because who, she, you in her Same. house, she ain't have to do that. Yeah. She could she could have walked off and said, "All right, we done." Yeah, or just straight stole her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Relax.